And as vaccinations ramp up, we're still tracking new COVID variants emerging across the country and the world. And tonight, ABC 15, the first to report of a new possible variant surfacing right here in Arizona. Our Cameron Pullum speaking with researchers about this discovery. That variant concerning scientists tonight. While the number of cases remains small, it's what they're learning about how it reacts to vaccines and therapeutics that has them monitoring it closely. Its technical name is the E484K mutation, but it soon could be known as the Arizona variant. Scientists with ASU's Biodesign Institute recently discovering 15 cases of it around the state, a number that's now grown to 54. There's a, a couple key mutations that uh, pretty much the, the collective uh, sequencing world is looking at. Dr. David Ingelthaler with TGen is helping lead the effort to genetically sequence COVID-19 cases across the state. Right now, they're monitoring nearly 20 variants, including the European, South African, and Californian, mainly watching to see if any show the ability of spreading in the community more quickly. One of the other types of mutations we're looking for are those that cause escape from antibody, potentially uh, meaning that the vaccine won't be as effective as more and more of these mutations occur. That's where E484 comes in. A study published this week by ASU researchers revealed that mutation is in the process of being established in the state. It also showed the possibility of resisting antibodies in both monoclonal therapies and vaccines. If it does seem to cause one of those problems, then it kind of moves over into that category of variant of concern. The study has yet to be peer reviewed. The scientists behind it expected to speak to journalists Wednesday. Dr. Ingrid Engelthaler says while it remains only a variant of interest at the moment, it's a critical mutation to keep tabs on. The vaccines do become less and less effective if more and more of these mutations pop up. Scientists say that mutation has already been found in Texas and New Mexico. We're also learning so far the state and its health partners have sequenced the genomes of more than 10,000 test samples. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15, Arizona.